Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new um, Apple 5.1 update for the iOS, uh, for iOS devices including the iPhone. Uh, this came out like about three days ago, but just yesterday Apple uh, sent me a notification, pushed a notification to my phone letting me know that I needed to, uh, there was an update available. Now I just upgraded yesterday and I'm a little concerned with this update, so uh, I'm gonna tell you why first. But l let's uh, let's see what's the first thing that comes to to attention. You see, this is the unlock screen, and the first thing that the 5.1 uh, update did is add this uh, camera icon. So if I do like this, I open the camera. That's a good feature. It's uh, very good to be able to quickly um, access to the camera, and I think that's a that's a plus of the update. And uh, if I go come like this and I just slide, it activates the phone, like always did. Now another thing is that it's, it adds Japanese uh, language to Siri. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm a Spanish, um, Italian, um, English speaker, and I don't see uh, either Italian or Spanish in Siri. I see German. I see other, uh, and now I see Japanese. I guess Japanese have a lot of money, and they uh, they buy a lot of iPhones, and that's probably the main reason behind it. But I think uh, Spanish should be included in uh, in Siri. It's, it's it's one of the most, if not the most, spoken language after English, and uh, I'm really disappointed about that. But talking about that later, I also want to say that uh, uh, the battery issue with this update. It seems to have been uh, um, at least uh, mentioned. It's mentioned on the list of updates that some uh, battery problems were fixed. I'm a little bit skeptical about this, especially because once I uh, uh, install the update, I can see that by using my phone, the percentage or the battery percentage is visually uh, it visually comes down. So you'll see now it's 81 percent. And I haven't really used uh, the phone to, to, to do anything, it's just on. And it will visually go down in just a few minutes. So I'm kind of concerned about that. In, in, other, in other things, I left the phone overnight and I checked, it was at 89%. And then uh, when I turned it on, it was at 82%. So it was a 7% uh, loss of power overnight. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, and that actually may have been an improvement. You see, it's already 80%. So it went down 1% without doing anything. I haven't done anything with the phone, I just unlocked it. So, and I had to mention that iCloud is off in my phone, and also location services are off in my phone, and I don't have any other uh, applications besides the email running. So this is really a cause for concern. I think the battery cons um, usage in uh, when the phone is locked may have been improved, but the battery usage when you are using the phone or when the phone is active is actually much worse than with the other update. At least that's in, in my 24-hour uh, estimation. So uh, before I give you a def definitive um, Conclusion, I need to use the phone more. I had to use it like uh, normally, like watching videos, surfing the internet like I used to do. I, uh, but I'm telling you, uh, like I was browsing the internet and I can see this percentage going down. And uh, it will go, it probably will go down another 1% before this video is over. Now it's, uh, it was 81, now it's 80. So, uh, other uh, um, features that were added, it's uh, Features related to to music and videos, so you have something called iPhoto that you can install now, and uh, other other features that I think are really not that uh, major. So the the basic one that I was think, hoping it was the battery problem, and right now at this moment I had to say, if uh, I could go back in time, I will I will hold off uh, to install the 5.1 and wait to see you know what people are saying but at least wait a few weeks I already uh, uh, updated to be honest with you I'm kind of regretted a little bit I should have waited and see what people say and maybe you know 
have a have a more uh, a better understanding of, of the battery problems and see what other people are experiencing because once you do it once you uh, update there is no way back I cannot go back to the previous version of iOS and uh, I think especially on the 4 and the iPhone 4 and 4S, there is no way back. So final advice, just wait before you get the update, in my opinion. Wait a few days at least, or at least a week, and see what's happening. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please let me know any comments you have. Let me know how is your experience with the battery with the 5.1. And if you're having the same experience like me, that is, if the battery is visually going down without really using the phone. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.